here we are, packed. Off to Western Australia, drive the Nullarbor. And this is us all packed in. We're gonna carry the bike in the van this trip. We'll just put it out and lock it up every night. Got the storage pot up here. And we've got our marquee, which we'll put up when we get to Bustleton. And here's the athlete. <laughs> and you ready to rock and roll? Ready, taper week. We're in Port Perry, and we're going to get the car holes if you can see that over there because we're not sure when we'll next have a supermarket. We're going to buy enough food to get us through to Bustleton. Stop here, we'll get heaps of food. So let's go do this. Port Augusta, very industrial town this. And this is the top of the Spencer Gulf. From here basically we turn left and head west and stay going west for the next sort of two and a half thousand kilometers. So here's Port Augusta for you. And this is us tonight, free campsite apparently. Quite like it up this little, little part pull over here so there's all these really cool apps where you can get all these free campsites everywhere so check it out so we're on a bit of a dirt road but we're not far off the highway probably 150 meters so that's us and we've stayed in hundreds of these and they're really safe so this is us put our awning out here and here we are that's us for the night just cooking dinner cooking in the van because it's too windy out here this is what we wake up to in the morning. Oh, turn left and head to Western Australia. Form an autopsy and permission died. Matthew just wasn't mentioned. Was aware of him because of the memories of that night, but the family. And when things didn't go right, she would write the as a suicide note because she was hurting so bad. All right, we've made it to Sejuna. We've gone 320 k so far today. We're going to go find somewhere nice with a toilet. <laughs> somewhere to have lunch. Well, this is a bit nice. Certainly doing a lot of this, this trip. We've got 300k to go to our free campsite for the night. So day two, we're almost on the Nullarbor. Check out the state of the van already. You see all this dirt? Look at it. Night two on the Nullarbor, and we got this little spot here. It's very windy, very windy. So we've turned the van this way with the hope that we'll be out of the wind. You can see the awning doesn't like it. These, they just can't hang on when it's this windy. This is us tonight. It's a bit of a gravel pit on the side of the highway, but it works. So we're set up. So I wouldn't normally let you shower with me, but people are gonna wonder what we do. Bit of water. And that's how we do it. And wet ones are your friend when you're doing this. Clean undie day.
now he's just stopped at a servo here two dollars ninety or something a litre and the dude at the survey said, mate, go up the road 18K, it's 30 cents a litre cheaper. Just on half a tank, but I like to keep it pretty full when we're on the open road. So we're just gonna go up to the servo up here. So thanks to that bloke, nice work, mate. So this is the servo where it's 30 cents a litre cheaper. So if you see up there, Perth 1435, we're going to Bustleton, but similar, Adelaide 1268, so we're not quite halfway yet. And there's a big whale here. See these white lines on the road just about to go over now? Well, that's an airstrip, so it's an emergency airstrip, which is actually the road. So I guess if a plane comes, do you play chicken with it or do you, or do you get off? Who has right of way? Who has right of way? more fuel so this is us tonight we just need to find somewhere nice so check out this magic spot hidden away amongst the gum trees with lots of plum trees a cockatoo and a are you going loopy <laughs> it's been driving a long time 700k today so look at this this is us can't see anyone else we got the whole place to ourselves again. So gourmet dinner tonight. We are having chunky chickpea and veggie soup, rice, corn, edamame, lots of salt and pepper and some chili, I'm sure. Yum. Day three, 600k, on to the next one. One thing I will say about the Nullarbor is it's an excellent road. Look at it, it's nice and wide, there's a shoulder. Not a hard drive at all. So we're heading down towards Esperance. We'll come back via Perth. First time we've turned in about two and a half thousand K. <laughs> Do you remember how the blinkers work? Like it just was so perfect and it looked brilliant, but it's such a weird process to go through. Talking about these really intimate, shameful sometimes moments of regret in your life and then having to like just chat about it. <laughs> My hip flexors were tight. Did you find that yeah. at the start you said that you were very cognizant? But the other thing that sounds funny, but and I needed to do a blind because my dog is a maniac and she needs exercise. And by connecting, I genuinely mean sitting and talking and discussing. Okay. Like
right, we're following maps and it wants to give us all these dirt roads, which doesn't bother us, but when there's a truck in front of you, it's a bit of a pain. Oh, and this is it. So we turn here. It's all, I feel like we're going around in circles. I'm sure we're not, but I feel like we've just done a big loop. Anyway, back on another dirt road. So we've got 30k on this one, so by the time we're done with this little section, I reckon we've knocked out about 70k of dirt roads. I mean, they're good dirt roads. Sometimes maps is a bit odd, I reckon. dirt road we think and the point of the dirt road is it cuts a hunk off the trip but it's about a hundred K of dirt road so it wouldn't be for everybody but we like a bit of an adventure now we're back on the main road boring One's a bit busier than the ones we've been to and a bit more open. Louise Lookout. We seem to find somewhere in the shade and away from wind. So this is us tonight. It's our last night before we get to Bustleton tomorrow. Sun's just setting, so that's the west over there. So we put this fly net up. I showed this before, we just use these magnets. Hold it in place, because the flies are terrible here. And here's an interesting fact. We sleep with this door open, we never close it. So let's fresh air in. Some of you are gonna think we're mad for doing that, but we've never felt unsafe or had any dramas. Anyway, we'll get up in the morning and head to Bustleton. Just 320K and we're in Bustleton. So we're on the final leg of our trip across the Nullarbor. Our first road works in almost 3,000 kilometers. Used to traveling around Queensland where all you get is road work, so this is pretty cool. And back on the dirt roads, another shortcut. First sign of Bustleton. Wait for it. There it is. Here we come, Bustleton. Where are we? Like 35 minutes away. 50 kilometers. We made it. Thanks for traveling with us.